Previously on Fallout New Vegas. Our story begins in the Mojave Wasteland, out west in Nevada. Courier number six of the Mojave Express was on a routine delivery, headed for the New Vegas Strip. Unbeknownst to the courier, this delivery was far from ordinary. Before the journey's end, the courier was accosted and knocked unconscious. When the courier came to, he found himself bound and kneeling before his assailants. It wasn't long till a gun was drawn and aimed at the courier's head. Now, most stories you'll hear end with a bullet, but this, this ain't like most stories. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, baby. We're here in the outskirts of Good Springs. We're doing a quest for Sunny Smiles. We gotta find a Brock flower and a Xander root. Oh, Brock flower loves uh, feeding them Pokemon. He just loves his little, his little Vulpix. <laughs> God, what a fucking throwback that is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now before you may have seen that we we got some a bit of stuttering going on um, when we were around. Ooh, I love that music. When we were around this uh, area. As parts of the world were loading in. Well, that's totally my bad. Um, I forgot to actually... I, I downloaded and installed um, the Fallout New Vegas Stutter Remover. But uh, totally forgot to enable it. So now it's enabled and we should be smooth as... As a baby's butt. That's what they say, right? Smooth as a baby's booty. All right. Let's see. Let's get our flower. It should be over here. Oh, there should be. We're gonna find some, uh... Some mantis men! There's gonna be some fucking mantis men! Uh, let's, uh... Let's see. You know what? Let's give him the old fucking one-two, huh? Fucking A and fucking B, right? Hell yeah, we're already armed. We're armed with the two best weapons available already, right out the gate. That's not true at all. We have no skill in unarmed, but... Oh god, they actually have some health to them, don't they? Look at this. Can I do like a charge up attack in this game? I can't remember it. Ooh! Good god! <laughs> These fuckers! Come back here! Oh god, there we go! Smash its fucking head in! Hot damn! Alright, get these little Xander roots. Nice. Doesn't really have that satisfying of a noise as uh, we're accustomed to in. Uh, what do you call it, game, uh, Morrowind, where when you pick a flower, it goes like... I love that. Oh, wouldn't it be great if... There, there must be a mod or something. Where, like, you can, uh, mod it to where it sounds like Stardew Valley when you're picking up stuff. Like, sucking stuff in your farmer's inventory, like... I guess a lot of games do that. That's... I guess most famously that would be, like, Minecraft or something, huh? Man! Fuck you! Come on, you little... Mantis nymphs. Good thing that they hardly do any fucking here. Let's let's pop open vats that way we stop getting the alert. <laughs> Cause we never did it earlier when we were fighting the geckos and it was supposed to be tutorializing us. By the way, this is like fucking I hate this kind of tutorial where it's just like, oh you wanna know how to do it? You better read this little thing in the top left and then we're gonna hit you with a gigantic wall of text. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh but hey, you know, it's showing its age. Nowadays, we do way better. Well, I say that, but, uh... I guess in Fallout 4, they don't tutorialize you on a lot of things. Like, did you know that if you aim down sights in Fallout 4 and you're near cover, you'll actually peek around the cover? Yeah. I bet, I bet a lot of you folks didn't know that, huh? Hidden functionality. Never tell you about it. All right. Yeah, we know how to do this. Fucking just slow-mo smacking... Mantis men. Cave Johnson would be proud. <laughs> Look at these fucking idiots. <laughs> uh oh, we got some more. Oh man, like that. We fucking hear the strength behind our fisting punches. We got a cherry bomb in here. I always take those. I, I've never um, once created whatever they're used for. I think, I think they're used in, um, what do you call them? The, um, homemade, um, bottle cap mines. There you go. Bobby pins, always good to have. Anything else? Nah, it doesn't look like it. 
All right. Or bobby pin. Um, let's see. We can get the most XP out of this if we do the terminal first. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, hopefully we don't have too much trouble with these. Good lord. Um, let's see. Um, writing is a good one to start with. Okay. Um, decries... Could be it. No. Nope. Um, let's see. Now there's also these little secret things. See, check this shit out, huh? Isn't that cool? Look at this. Dud removed. Dud removed. But the problem is, is like, this shit eventually goes off screen, so then if you got badass memory, like, not like badass, like, man, we're kicking ass, but like, an awful memory like me, then you just start to forget what the hell it even said. Alright, crucial. Um... That can't be it. Um... Credits can't be it. Outside. Um... It's looking like it could be outside. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright. Disengage lock. So in case you don't know, um... Oh, fuck, fuck! I, I just absentmindedly disengaged the lock. The whole idea was that I was gonna also pick the lock for extra XP. Oh, well, what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? We're off to a great start today. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, did you see that? The computer, like, faded back in. I wonder if that has to do with one of the mods, like, it stops rendering mod- er, uh, objects that are off-screen. A lot of games nowadays do that. I don't know if, uh, this one did. But, uh, nowadays, a lot of games, like, uh... Ooh, what do we- We need some of these. I think it might be electronics later for Eddie. Um, uh, programmer's dot Here, let's turn on our Pip-Boy light. But yeah, um... A lot of games nowadays do that to where when you're looking one direction, they stop rendering like shitloads of things that, that are behind you. Like, um, I remember watching like um, a developer diary sort of thing from CD Projekt Red, folks who did Witcher 3, or all the Witcher games, I should say. And uh, that's exactly what they do. They showed like that's how they were able to get like such good fidelity for things that Geralt was looking at in the world. Oh, that's disgusting. Well, it was because they would just stop, uh, rendering things that was behind the camera. Which is pretty clever. I know, like, um, Naughty Dog games do a lot of that. Which is why they look so fucking gorgeous as hell. Alright. We got everything in here? Yeah, I guess so. For some reason, I remember this place being a bit bigger. But I guess not. You also have to excuse me if, uh... Ugh. I don't know what the fuck you do with that, I don't remember. If, um, you'll have to excuse me if I sound a little sniffly, you know, that's because I do have a sniffle sniff right now. I've caught, like, a mild cold or something, I don't know. Only feel sniffly, nothing else wrong. Can we shoot that bird? I've never tried that in this game. Maybe that bird doesn't even technically exist and it's like a part of uh, a mod. I was playing, um, Red Dead Redemption not long ago and I was shooting birds down just because I could. No, okay. <laughs> Let's stop wasting ammo. I don't think we can shoot birds. Oh god, the big horner is, is stirring. Uh-oh. We've upset the big horner boy. Here, let's check over here in these little things. Oftentimes there's a lot of good shit in here. Ah, yeah. Sunset Sash Marilla. Let's make sure we're hidden, though. Losing karma, but man, you make so much karma back, it's like not even an issue. Like, it's harder to, to maintain bad karma, I think, in this game, than it is to maintain good karma. Uh, let's see here, let's... wrestle up some trash. Charlie, I found the trash food. The trash cigarettes. We're gonna make a fortune, Charlie. Alright, there we go. Nice. Now, let's see, um... Get our flower. Say hello to the big horner boy. What's up? Hey there, fella. Are you doing good? Doing a little Michael Jackson moonwalk. They look almost like, um... Capybaras, like, blended with, um, rams. Don't they? Like, humongous capybara. Capybara? Capybara? Can we actually grab these? No. Oh, this one we might. Oh, yeah. Do we need to, though? I want to. 
All right. Let's see. We're getting off a of track. All my uh, Fallout 4 instincts are kicking back in. Oh, right. They're up there. I remember now. Ooh, we should stop in at the general store real quick and pick something up before we head in there. Uh, let's see here, though. Grab some more sarsaparilla. I love me a good old whisk of uh, sunset sarsaparilla. Right in the morning, it'll do me up good. <laughs> let's see. We need to buy a shovel, because up there is a graveyard. And if I remember, you can do some grave robbing. I don't know if you can do it during the day, though. But hey, I definitely want to dig up Howdy. a grave, because you never know. You, you might find... You the uh, one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Um, let's ask about surplus ammo. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. All right. Um, tell me about weapon mods. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Okay. Oh god, hang on. Hang Dating. on. Hang on, Chet. Hang on. Whew! Jeez, I almost didn't notice it. <laughs> Alright. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, Chet. Sorry, I just had to turn off your fucking radio. Uh, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of Great Cons with him, probably hired guns. The Great Cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Um, have you ever been to New Vegas, Chet? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Fucking Chet has a bad gambling problem. We're talking about Mr. House, though. When will... Who's, who's, who's Mr. House? I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. Mm. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? I love the fucking foreshadowing, huh? Uh, anything else you can tell me about great cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. Hmm. Now, of course, that's only in uh, New Vegas land. Obviously, in, in other games, different folks are making it. Um. Anyway, yeah, let's Indeed. pick up that shovel. Because like I said, you never know. Well, like I was about to say. You never know if you might dig up an adventurer who would go on to uh, alter the course of uh, the entire world. <laughs> let's see. Shovel. Oh, shit, he doesn't have a shovel? I thought he always had a shovel. Oh, that's no good. That's no good at all! Hmm. Let's see, what else can we get our greasy palms on, on though? We could get, like, an ammo box, couldn't we? Um... 9mm would be okay. It's all sword by A, right? Ammo box? Um... Fuck me. Here, let's see. What, 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 what the fuck do our guns use? They I know we have a 9mm, but does our varmint rifle use 5.56, five, actually? Wow, okay. Yeah, 5.56. Five, you looking to buy some supply? Yeah, sorry, Chet, sorry. Yeah. There we go, and 5.56. Five, five, Costs a bit much for us, but uh, we'll be fine. Um, let's... I guess we should sell off this shit that we got. Like, I don't... 
Do I really want a grenade rifle? Like, holy hell, man. I don't know about that. Throwing spears? I definitely don't want that. I mean, a grenade rifle could be pretty fucking dope, couldn't it? Let's ditch the laser pistol, though. Hmm. The SMG and the uh, 9mm pistol actually have the same damage. Oh, but the trade-off is weight. I see. Let's see here. We could also get rid of some of this extra stuff. Maybe we should keep it, though. Maybe we'll, like, uh, store it in one of our homes away from home. Fuck, do we need the mantis egg for anything? I don't know. Wonder glue. I don't know why I picked that up. Let's see. Let's get rid of the mantis eggs and the pencils. Man, I picked up a lot of garbage, huh? I'm still in my, uh... uh we're definitely going to keep the pre-war money, though. You have to, We have to do the typical thing, filling bathtubs up with uh, pre-war money. That's always fun. Lag the game the fuck out, though, probably. <laughs> Thanks. Take it easy now. Sure thing, Chet. Bastard. All right. Let's see in here. You got anything worth, uh... Worth taking, worth looking at? You just got a room with a fridge? Jeez, poor Chet. Maybe you shouldn't spend so much gambling. Good God, man. All right. Yeah, I suppose we're good. Man, no shovel. Really? Do you see a shovel in here? Where did I get the shovel the first time I played through? Hmm. Oh, well, we'll just have to make do without it. Here, let's, um... Let's actually assign weapons here. First will be our... Well, no, let's make it... Yeah, okay. Let's do that, actually. Um, first will be our pistol, and then... Third will be our rifle. And I guess fourth will be our shotgun. I don't know. Actually, fourth should be our uh, stim pack, shouldn't it? I don't have my sweet mouse anymore with the, like, shitloads of buttons. So fourth should be, like, a sort of healing thing. There we go. Unfortunately, you can't rebind two. Because by default, that makes you uh, swap ammo. Here we go. Surplus rounds. Now, this was, um, the first game that I played where, uh, I got fucking scared as hell of scorpions. In one of the towns, there's, like, a humongous, like, queen scorp. And she is mad as hell. And it scared the shit out of me, because I just spent, like, ten minutes just kind of, like, crouched down looking at her. Oh, God. And I just kind of, like, sat there looking at it, and I was just like, Ew, look at this fucking thing, it looks disgusting as hell. Ew, look at all of its eyes! And I just, like, continually just sat there looking at this fake video game scorpion, getting continually more and more freaked out by it. <laughs> I don't know why I did it! But, uh, I did it nonetheless. Alright. Let's head on up here. I think there's more... No, there's no more scorpions, but there are some other sons of bitches. Little bloat flies. Should be no problem at all. I can't believe we missed that first shot. That was embarrassing. Might have to do with my, my gun still being too low. There is definitely, like, bullet curving in this game. But I don't know how bad it is. Fuck me. What am I even doing? Let's just fucking run up on this fool. Oh god. Ugh. It's kind of like a little butthole for a mouth. Oh, it's weird to see my character not wearing glasses. Oh, here we are. The snow globe. Yeah. I know where, like... I don't remember where all of them are, but I remember where quite a few of them are. You can uh, trade these for, like... 2K. You found a limited edition Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. These are rare pre-war artifacts. Or these rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles. But rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Ooh. Is there actually is the shovel actually up here? Is that what I'm mistaking this? See, look, we can let's quick save. Actually, if you listen. It might not be during this time of the day, but at night, if you come up here, you can... You can hear, like, the souls of the damned 
whispering. Can you hear him? No. Okay. <laughs> Bloat fly meat, that's health. Heck yeah, we want that. Eat that meat. Give me that meat. Oh, and look, this is where we were. Okay. Oh, shit! What? Holy shit, did we shoot it out of the sky? I don't know. Oh, listen, you can hear the souls of the damned. Oh, shit. Maybe you can't hear them on YouTube. Maybe <laughs> maybe it won't come through on the video. But I can hear them. I swear I can hear them. All right. Look, cigarettes. Man, fucking checkered suit guy sure is a fucking chain smoker, huh? Leaving cigarettes everywhere. I believe that's actually... um significant there you get a bonus for finding a uh, certain thing look at those motherfuckers down there look at that fucking on the northeastern range scorpions keep out scorpions should we go down there and tango with them look at these ravens they're pissed as hell fucking good lord game of thrones over here angry ass ravens let's try and fuck with the the scorpions let's see quick save here we have a big boy, don't we? Yeah, see, we kept this for a fucking reason, didn't we? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how well we can go with the scorpions. Get some easy early on XP. Look, there sure are a fucking lot of them. This is the thing about New Vegas is like, um... See, there's Vegas over there. And the cool thing is, like, at night you can see it lit up all the time. But, um... If you go the shortest route there, there are shitloads of big bastards in the way who are just gonna ruin your fucking day. Like, these scorpions are only part of the trouble. So, you end up, uh, unless you're, like, somehow sneaky as hell, or you've somehow found enough, uh, high-tier equipment to combat them all. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm finished. We look good. We look great. We're looking fine. Fuck me, look at them all. There are so many out here. Let's see. Do you think there's bullet drop with this? Oh, shit, there is. is coming over. Look, there it is. Uh-oh. It's seen us. Uh-oh. This ain't looking good, man. Holy shit, there's a lot! Them in, within the entire country. Look, we're getting some. Holy shit, look at this juicy ass XP. We've only got five more shots, though. We have to be careful. Yeah, eat it. Oh my god. This is amazing. I've never attracted so many scorpions before in my life. Uh oh, we're out of bullet. Take that, scorpion! Fucking vats the shit out of you. Come on, this one is so low. Oh god, we do such little fucking damage. Look, their armor is, is intense as hell. I don't like how I can't even get the fuck back up here, though. That's never good. Oh shit, son. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? What else do we have? Should use the 10 millimeter, shouldn't we? Get the fuck away from me! Oh my god, that's hardly gonna do any fucking damage. Fuck, I accidentally popped a thing thinking that my uh, shotgun was on four. Damn it. Rookie mistake. Fuck! Oh. Oh. We made a terrible mistake! What kind of a fucking iron sight is this? It's just a screw! Oh man, this one's almost toast. There we go, 50 XP. We're about to fucking level, man. I'm ready. I'm ready, Scorpions. 
You can't do shit. Look at them all. Just like fucking over here or something. Oh god. Ooh! Oh, I'm terrified! Oh! Get away! Jesus! God! Yeah! Oh shit, we're out of bullets! Oh shit, we're out of bullets again! Hell yeah, surplus rounds, baby! Woo! Nailed him! Easy. Whew! It's quick save. <laughs> There's still like one or two more alive, I think. Look at this, we got some poison glands, valuable as hell. Oh, I think it was worth it, man. I think it was worth it. Alright, let's come back up here. Oh, we're out of combat now, officially. Look at that son of a bitch over there. Oh, no we're not, because we would have had the level up alert. And I think the combat music is still raring. Christ's sake. Can we jump on top of this little, uh, tomb? This is very disrespectful, but, uh... I mean, these scorpions are actually the ultimate in disrespect. I don't like this fella over here getting, getting all up over here. I don't like this at all. What's going on with this dude? Look, he's almost dead as well. Where are you going, fella? Oh, coming right at me, huh? Gotcha! Man, lucky crits. Saving the day, baby. Alright. Come over here. Can't get a clear shot on you. Can I shoot him through there? No, I'm not gonna risk wasting. Ugh. I'm kinda worried he's gonna just jump over that shit. Man, I didn't expect us to take on the entire fucking flock. That's what you call a herd of, uh, or a flock of scorpions, by the way. It's, uh, scientifically known. Was that a dead one that we were hitting there for a bit? Jesus, I'm worried our gun is gonna die. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's right, scorpions! I'm the scorpion god! Get over here! Oh, that went pretty well. Now we got so much money that we can afford to, uh, get good ammunition, get good stuff. We're, we're doing good, we're doing great. Look at these fucking creepy-ass mother- <laughs> Ugh. God, scorpions are, like, hell spawn. They look like fucking creatures from Doom. They're like, they're like perfectly crafted killing machines. Like, look at them. Fuck me. They're like tanks. Good god, I wouldn't want to ever see a giant scorpion in reality. Man, we really blew the shit out of these two down here. Look, <laughs> their fucking legs and shit are all blown up. Oh my god, that looks pretty awesome. Alright. Now, there's some more over there, but we, uh... Look, I think, yeah, that one, for some reason, didn't come over. Oh, there's that fucking dude over there. Huh. Oh god! Oh, oh god! <laughs> That fucking scared the shit out of me! I forgot that we leveled! <laughs> Alright, let me refer to my uh, handy dandy notebook here. Alright, we're gonna amp up barter. Bring that all the way up. Yep, there we are. And... Let's see, we are level 2. So we want to get... Um, yeah, tension? No, not yet. We're looking for... Um, Educated is really good. But for now, we're going to get intense training. And we're going to increase our endurance. Because we want nine endurance, that way we can get the maximum amount of, like, cyborg mods. We're going to become a sweet cowboy cyborg. Which is just, like, my greatest dream of all time. Like, if I... I want to be, like, a spaceship captain. Flying my own spaceship around. I want to be, like, a cyborg cowboy. How freaking dope would that be? My god. That's what they ought to do with the new Red Dead. Make a new, uh, Undead Nightmare DLC, except make it, uh, about being a cyborg cowboy in space. Whew! 
That'd be pretty, 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 pretty good. Look, we didn't even get the fucking flowers. My god, we're running out here. We're just like, a oh, good day shooting, uh, shooting scorpions, I'd say. Let's uh, have ourselves a little uh, withdrawal. Man, we didn't even get struck once by those scorpions, did we? Man, fucking, the kiting skills are off the charts, man. Good lord. All the hunters in the WoW zone would be proud. Did you hear that? It's the souls of the damned. I can't believe there's no shovel. I really thought there was, like, a shovel here. I must have come back rather than picking it up my first time through. Oh, well. I don't even remember there being anything good in these. But nonetheless, I like the idea of, uh... Robbing graves in video games, because it's extremely frowned upon in real life. Let me tell you, I've... I've been there, pal. I've tried to rob so many graves in real life, and people do not like it. But in video games, it's totally fine. It sets up this weird precedent, you know? It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I I've never robbed vi graves. Don't rob graves. Please don't rob graves in real life. It really is bad. Don't do that. Alright. Let's head back to uh, old what's her butt over here. Should we wait until it's light out? I think so. Here, let's wait for about, uh... Eight hours should make it morning, right? 6 a.m., that's sunrise. Or close to it. Oh, wow, perfect. Okay. Let's see, what do we have in terms of weapons that actually have ammo still? Oh, look, our weathered 10 millimeter. For some reason, it wasn't firing off earlier. Huh. I thought that we'd run out of ammo, which is why I swapped. Okay. Jeez, we, we may as well be a hero now. We, we've quelled the uh, scorpion threat. And we've, uh, we've defended the graves of the dead. And we've listened to their whisper, the whispers of the damned. They were like, Lyle Schnub, long shot Lyle. It's up to you to go fight the scorpion menace. And defend the town of Good Spring. Sounds like, oh shit, yeah, I'm picking up some real sweet EVP shit here. I can tell. Man, this ghost is, is really tripping balls. It wants me to fight scorpions? Hell yeah, I'm gonna fight them naked. And you know, we could have actually fought them naked because we didn't get hit at all. Jesus. Some great moves. Smooth moves. Alright. We're gonna have to tell Sunny all about our... Fuck me, look at all these dead fucking geckos out here without heads. Oh my god. What a horror show. Look, they got hides on them as well. Let's grab some water. Mmm, delicious. We don't even need it because we're not on hardcore. Too bad we aren't, but I really don't like the idea of companions dying. I hate that so much. And I don't want to put you all through uh, me loading every time a companion dies. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where are uh, where is she? There she is. Ah! Forget I can look down the bomb left. Been playing too much Morrowind. Forgot that we actually have a quest tracker. All right, Sunny. Wow, she's she's shorter than I remember. Is she like? What's going on? Huh? Oh well. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine, just fine. All right, now we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. All right, cool. Yeah, look, she's... Huh. I never realized that. All right. Healing powder. We'll make one. And this will be, like, the last time and throughout this entire bad, playthrough see? that we do something like that. All it like takes that. to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Alright, cool. Quest complete. Well, no, not quite, I guess. Yeah, I think Trudy has, like, a radio that we can fix or something like that. Should be no problem at all. 
Should really stock up on ammo again and all that. Is her quest, um... Yeah, there's another quest in, in Good Springs that's notable. I don't know if, if it's tied together like that. Oh, here. I almost forgot as well. We can just... Look at this. Check this out. Man, like I said, playing too much Morrowind. Forgot we can literally just fast travel. Whew! We gotta get used to doing that. Been a while since I played a game like that. Even Pillars of Eternity. Don't have fast travel like that, baby. Alright, um, before we head in, let's... Let's grab some more ammo. We need at least 9mm, don't we? We could probably pick up another varmint rifle and repair ours. I don't know. We might be able to also just, um... Fix up, uh... Hey there. Fix up you our stuff buy from some supplies? shit. From, from, uh, dead dudes. Can do. Alright, let's see here. Um... We could pick up some... Here, does he... We waited a while. Did, did he get new, uh, stuff? No, 38. I mean, maybe he has, like, a 38 revolver, which would be pretty nice. Doesn't look like it, though. Recharger rifle. Oh, fuck! The shovel is a weapon! There we go. Yeah, we'll do that. We definitely need to get some, some more ammo. Let's see here. Um... Let's get 9mm, just basic stuff. We got plenty of 5.56. Five, uh... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine for now. Let's see if we can't sell some of our shitty, uh... Poison glands. While we're at it. Nice. Making bacon. Pleasure doing business with you. Take it easy now. All right. Let's equip our, uh... Look, it comes pre-reloaded. Nice. We don't even have to worry about it. Okay, Trudy, what's going on? She, this might actually lead right into the, um... The next quest. I'm uh, done yeah. being nice. Oh. If you don't hand Ringo over soon... I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? Uh-oh. We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell? We're going to shoot him! We're going to shoot you, Joe Cobb! Oh, shit, no, he's got too much health. He's got too much health. <laughs> in one of my playthroughs, I just instantly came in here and fucking wasted his ass as soon as he was back talking to Trudy. I was just like, you came into the wrong bar, pal. <laughs> well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Um, I overheard your argument. What the hell is that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. Last well, surviving member. We figured member. he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. God. Could you imagine how many- there must be so many fucking playthroughs <laughs> where people are like, Ah, oh, Ringo, huh? Must be a member of the Beatles! What a fucking guy! <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I, I was about to do it myself. In fact, I did. I'm a little guilty. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Uh, why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. All right, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. Hmm, who the hell are the Powder Gangers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right. Um, let's talk about something else. All right. Um, what happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Yeah, but 
Fuck them. Uh, so if I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more, uh, what if I help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Yeah, I know you can actually do that and uh, sort of befriend them, but they don't really have, like, much in the way of quests. Sort of like Good Springs after this quest. There's not much to do with them. I think there's, like, a couple quests that you can do at the, um, the penitentiary, or the penitentiary, or prison, jail, wherever they're all holed up. Uh, I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. What an asshole! Uh... Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why's that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Right. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Yeah, so that, like, yeah, like I said, that's interesting world design. It makes, a. Uh... It starts the game off as being more uh, linear. Like, it is it is technically open world, but it's more linear because of that. It's almost like um, the hottest new game of this year, uh, Breath of the Wild. You know how you can, like, instantly go to the final boss fight or, or whatever? Alright. You still haven't said where the guy, these guys were going. Or, so, where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15? He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Um, let's see. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. <laughs> looks okay on the outside, but broken on the inside. Just like poor Trudy. Oh, God. Uh, do you know the robot that rescued me? Remember, she doesn't I like know her. that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Hmm. Uh, what does he actually do around here? Other Besides than rolling me around up. once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Hmm. Chekhov's robot. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Uh, never mind. Let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Uh, we've, we already asked her about this, right? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. I guess not. All right. Does Good Springs get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy hmm. bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Uh, anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Huh... Tell me about the NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Uh, why do you think the NCR and the Legion both want the dam? We have a good idea of why this is already. Though. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants Pete. to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Alright, and what can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Um, uh, what, what, what have you actually got, got for Got a sale special discount for you, here. after what you've done for us. Oh, thanks. Uh, fixing things. Grilled mantis, meeting people. Oh, that could be useful. 
Should we actually buy some of this stuff? Maybe we ought to. Let's buy these mags. Alright. Um, let's see. We could get rid of some shit, couldn't we? Like this. Oh no, it's worth too much. Yeah, well, we'll be fine, I guess. Wow, look, our weathered pistol is so fucking valuable. Why is that? Holy hell. Oh well, except. Yeah, I suppose we're good for now. We'll hang on to all this stuff. Thanks. Be careful out there. Alright, let's take a look at our radio. We're alright at repairing stuff, I think. If not, we, we can read up on fixing things. Um, let's see. An examination of the radio's internal components reveals that several parts and connections were popped loose when the radio hit the floor. It should be a fairly simple repair job to get it working again. Let's repair it. And let's turn it off. <laughs> hey, Trudy, we fixed it! Feeling thirsty? Fix your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Uh, ooh, yeah, here we go. This is what we what we wanted. That's it? Are you implying that I've done shoddy work? Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? I mean... Thanks be careful things. out there. All right. Oh, wow. Another level up. Two level ups already. Wow. All right. Let's consult our uh, leveling guide here. All right. And then next we want to get block pickup. Cool. Like I said, the leveling won't be uh, perfect, but I like to have a plan. Or at least 12% of a plan. Let's see. We can't pick that yet, can we? We could... Yeah, let's see this. Uh, reading is a good one. Ooh, look, we're almost there already. Uh, five correct, huh? It's not that. Uh, it's definitely not that. It's probably an ING, but you never know. Uh, remains... Two... Four... Nah, close, but no cigar. Let's see, meeting. One. Four. Three. Four. So yeah, the idea is that is that you get a word and you match them up. You, you have to, like, it tells you how many are correct here. Just in case you didn't know. Uh, related. No. Resisting, that could be it. Four, five, yep. Bada bing, bada boom. Disengage the lock. We could pick it later, but no, it's not worth it. I'll, I'll, I'll probably fucking forget that this is even here. Oh, look! Lava ammo! Holy hell! Look at all this! Good stuff! We are such a fucking sneak thief, though. I'll just take it all. Dirty water, that's good. Sarsaparilla? Hell yeah! Hook me up, baby. Yeah, this is like my payment for working on a radio, you know? <laughs> good god. <laughs> what a fucking bastard. Okay. That ought to do it for now. Here, we can grab a whiskey, I guess. Let's see. Let's repair up our, um, our pistol as well. Nice. Can we uh, repair uh, the single shotgun with with the caravan? No. All right. Well, before we go to help out Ringo, gosh, where's the way out? Okay. Yeah, the door, the texture pack, makes me not used to what the door looks like. Well, let's go up here and uh, check out the. Oh shit, a tumbleweed. Can we actually pick them up? Oh shit, we can. Nice. Maybe we'll bring this up here with us. But yeah, before we help out Ringo, we definitely gotta dig up these graves. Because I don't remember what's inside of them. Might be something worthwhile. Or probably not, though. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think back to where the uh, all the snow globes are located. I know there's one at the uh, Mormon Fort. I know there's one at the Lucky 38. Is there one at Novak? There must be, right? I think there's one at the airport as well. Uh, let's see. Let's quick save here and start digging. Bottle caps. We don't even get bad karma for doing this. Okay, you can definitely hear the souls of the damned in that one, right? It's not just me. Look at this. Tobacco chew. Hey, I got some tobacco. Always what you want. Let's see, are there any other ones? Good lord, my nose is going buck wild over here. Getting stuffed as heck. Oh, nice. Magnum rounds. Always good. Oh shit, a revolver! Oh my god! Well, we definitely want that. We don't have enough rounds to put on one of our uh, quick slot bars, though. But it's great to have. Alright! When next we come back, uh, hopefully uh, my, my stuffed nose will be a bit better. I won't sound so fucking ridiculous. Like, it started out okay, but man, it has definitely progressed into sounding like a fucking cloud toward the ends of this. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're headed next. Oh, look at the big horner. Oh, what a cutie. Yeah, we're going over to the gas station to check in on Ringo. And then we'll, uh, we'll have a big, uh, showdown here. We'll have a Mexican standoff, so to speak. Till next time. Peace. Peace.